Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to go through the settings to set up a Windows computer to work the best with low vision. This is an updated version of a video I made uh, several years ago, but Windows has updated their accessibility settings quite a bit and they've moved some things around, so I figured it was a good idea to update this video. We're about to jump onto the computer, but before we do, if this is your first time to my channel, I make videos about living life with vision impairment and an emphasis on the assistive technology that can help make it awesome. So if that sounds good to you, please consider subscribing to the channel and turning on post notifications because I upload a new video every single week. All right, so I know a second ago I had a long beard and now I don't. <laughs> continuity errors in the filming. Uh, that first part was recorded a couple days ago and then I decided to shave off my beard. But before we get into the computer and start looking at settings, I wanted to talk about connecting your computer to a large monitor. This is an easy way to automatically display things larger on the screen. This especially works really well if you're using like a laptop, something with a small screen. I currently am using a 40 inch Samsung television as my monitor. This Samsung TV is also on a wall mounted monitor arm. I'll put a link in the description, the videos where I talk about this particular setup if you're interested to learn more about that. Okay, let's jump into the computer and start looking at some settings. Before we get started with the settings, I'd like to give a quick disclaimer. This is the way that I set a PC up to work the best with my vision impairment. This doesn't mean it's the only way to set it up. There may be some settings in here that I don't use, but may be very helpful for you. So please don't take this tutorial as the only way to set it up. It has to be this way. This should just be a starting point and then you go in and tweak things to suit your needs. Okay, with that being said, let's get started. The first thing I like to point out, because I get this question all the time, is my giant clock up here on my desktop. This is a third party program. It's a free program. It's called Rain Meter. And I have a video showing how to set this up. A few more things about our desktop here. If you hold down the control button and use your scroll wheel, you can make these icons larger or smaller. The other option is to right click, go to view, and then you have three options, large, medium, or small. But using your scroll wheel gives you more options. Next, let's jump into some settings. So I'm gonna right click on the desktop here and let's go down to display. The first section is scale and layout. You can choose a scale for everything on the screen here. It will often have a recommended setting here, but you can definitely play around with all of these. If I choose one of the lower numbers here, now everything is much smaller. For example, this menu here, you see how small that is now. But if I go back to my recommended where I like to keep it, Now my menu, much bigger. So that's an easy way to make things bigger and easier to see. Next, we need to look at display resolution. Here you will also have a recommended option, and this is dependent on what type of monitor, what display you're using, the resolution of the monitor. But you don't have to choose that. You could choose one of these other ones here, and that will affect how large or small everything is on the screen but you can definitely play around with those. This also affects things like how large your start menu is. You see how large mine is. It covers almost the entire screen here. And that's because I have chosen a larger resolution and a larger scale. So there's no wrong or right option for these. Just play around with them and find the one that works the best for you. Next, we're gonna go to personalize and we need to right click on the desktop and go down to personalize last option in the list here. In here, you can choose your background color. That's the background of the desktop here. I prefer to run with a solid color. And in this case, I prefer solid black. 
that just makes my icons over here easier to see it makes it easier to see my clock I don't ever use a picture and this is the reason why this is great I would love to have a picture of myself and my daughter out on our skiing trip but now I can't see any of my icons they just completely blend into the picture I can't see my clock up here there's not enough contrast between those items and the background now sometimes I do run with a picture like this it's simple enough to provide a lot of contrast but it does have it's not just a solid color so it does have a little interest next we'll choose colors and this is where we can uh, customize some different color options on the computer first one here is our theme so I am running the dark theme this is a relatively new addition to Windows for the longest time we were stuck with this light theme which as you see it probably looks very familiar but uh, it's very hard on my eyes I much more prefer the dark theme you can choose your accent color and this is the color that would be in your start menu for example this blue color you can choose that in here so if I click like this red now if I go to my start menu all my tiles here are red the important tiles next is theme and this is where you can choose the theme for your computer um, background color sounds mouse pointers we will come back to that you can choose several different themes here but we're going to adjust some of these options somewhere else next we have fonts in here you can choose different fonts to run on the computer why are they disappearing it's like they get to a certain place and they disappear anyway this may be good for some users you might find a a font type that's easier for you to read maybe if you read braille visually you could choose this one <laughs> I've got some custom fonts added in here but there's a ton already in here and you can just choose the one you want customize the start menu this will change how the start menu looks if you have a vertical scrolling start menu like this then if you just grab the edge here and pull it over it will open up show you more all at once you can customize a lot of options in the start menu here and in this section you can even use start full screen I tap it it's a full screen start menu now next we're gonna go into the ease of access settings an easy way to get into it is to just bring up your start menu and then start typing I just typed EAS and there it is at the top ease of access I'm just going to hit enter and that brings us into ease of access I recently did a video walking through all of the low vision settings I will link that video in the description down below or popping out in the card right now there's a lot of great accessibility settings for the visually impaired so I recommend checking that video out but just a couple things that we are going to do first here so the first one is display and we can set the size of our text just by dragging this slider here one option is to turn off animations here I leave mine on but you might find it easier to see things if they were turned off I turn off transparencies next we're gonna go to the mouse pointer and this is a great new section in Windows accessibility we have the option to enlarge the size of our pointer so we can make a just a ginormous pointer here that would make it much easier to see you would never lose your pointer I like mine just down around about there you can also change the style of pointer you have you could do the traditional white you could do a black pointer with a white outline I like the inverted so if I'm on a black background it's white if I go on to a white background it turns black it basically takes the opposite color of whatever it's on top of or you can click here and choose a custom color they have several here pre-chosen for you like this let me, let me make this a little larger so it's easier to see 
got this bright yellow or you can click this section here and choose whatever color in the rainbow that you want we're gonna click on additional mouse settings down here at the bottom but we are gonna go down to the bottom here to additional mouse settings I'm gonna click that and it's gonna bring up the old school mouse interface here but the one I want to adjust is pointer options. We're gonna click on that. And the one I want is all the way at the bottom, show location of pointer when clicking the control button. I have that turned on. That way if I tap the control button, you see it makes this little circle around the mouse. And that's very helpful. If you ever do get lost where you're not sure where that mouse is, you can quickly tap the control button and it will kind of draw your eye to it. Now we're back in the ease of access here and I want to go to the left here to text cursor and we're gonna go ahead and turn that on and this is going to add a little visual indicator of where your text cursor is. You can choose your color. I'm gonna choose this bright yellow actually I like that and you can choose the size of it by this slider here and finally we're going to go to the left here and click on high contrast these are themes for your computer just like we saw before but these are going to be high contrast themes that are great for low vision so for example if i turn one on here it's going to reset everything real quick and now i have this high contrast theme running so you see the window is much easier to see. We have these very high contrasty colors. And this is all customizable. I can go in here and I can change these colors. For example, if I don't really like this yellowish highlight color, I can go in there and change that right there. High contrast themes are great and you have several to choose from here. Let's try a different one here. We'll do this one and you see we have different colors now different highlight color different color around the outside of the the window if i bring up my start menu you can see this is all changed as well we have high contrast outlines around all the blocks and these things are easier to see so i would go in here and play around with these you might find something that works better for you there you go guys those are in my opinion the most helpful settings for someone using a computer with low vision just a reminder you will have to tweak them here and there to suit your own needs but that should be a good start for you as always thank you very much for watching if you like the video be sure to hit the like button and if you have any questions for me let me know in the comments down below thanks again guys sam with a blind life i'll see you next time